Welcome, fellow Rim Rims, to Rimworld, where we spend all day and all night on the Rim committing war crimes. I wasn't going to say anything else there. Today, we are starting with the siege that we left off with yesterday. So somewhere, um, somewhere, ah, uh, oh, there we go, drop pods preparing to horribly kill us. Yesterday, I started asking for names. I figured we survived the, 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 the Ice Age, we survived the Fire Age. I thought now's the time if we're, we're ever going to name our people to name them. So they have been given by the community some new names some of them relevant to who they are, some of them purely random. We have five, Pork, Roger Wilco, Doves, Ice Wolf, Moira, and Bear. My name list is still extremely long. We, we still have a massive list, so it's going to take a while to get through that. What I was thinking is, given that we've now got two pretty good Wardens, right? We've got, um, we've got Robert Daddy and Doves. With that, we could basically start trying to simultaneously recruit two people at once. Now, I still want to turn this room into a more of a luxury prison where they've got furniture, uh, like dresses, end tables, a proper bed, something to... I don't know if they can actually use recreation, can they, with the current mod pack that we've got. Um, but basically, I want to give them plenty of opportunity to get their mood aside as possible. Might even allow them to have lavish meals, which right now they are default into lavish meals, but we could limit them just to, just to hoppers when the corn's regrown. We'll cover that when we get there. But I'm thinking if we set one of them to reduce resistance, one of them to recruit, that way both of our wardens are still capable of doing other jobs. Anyway, let's get to work. The other thing I've got to mention too is this weekend I've got more guests coming over. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to record two episodes today and that gives me plenty of time to reply to your comments uh, before I record two more episodes the next day. That way it's only going to be kind of a two episode lag because I'm only taking really like two days off. Let's see what they've got then. So we have eight humans. This is a siege, don't forget. So we are going to be I guess potentially just sending Sharamus in. I don't like the fact that Sharamus has the sniper that we're using him to take out enemy encampments when he's also the slowest guy. So if we want to try and put some distance between him and them, it's not ideal. Who's our next best shot? We've got Fingers. Fingers wouldn't be a bad choice as well. Um, I think I'm going to swap Fingers and Sharamus' loadout so that Fingers can actually haul ass and get out of there. He's also a high level immortal. So if he takes any damage on his, on his missions, he'll probably survive it. Oh god, here they come. Okay. So we do... Oh, man, that's quite annoying. So that's not near any cover, really, either. We'll see if we can hit them from over this side of things. Uh, so, Sharamuts, you need to swap your gun out with fingers whenever he gets over here. We need to, we need to get this done as soon as possible as well, because they're going to start dropping their... There we are. Okay. Um, you equip the sniper rifle. You equip the assault rifle. No! <laughs> you son of a bitch. Equip that as a sidearm. Thank you. That's still, that's still business as usual. Thank you, team. Uh, there we go. Okay, we should be good. Right, fingers, get in there. I don't know quite whether well, there's a better method of doing this, but we should be okay, I think. I'm also going to hold that door open. We'll use it as a point of retreat to get him back out of the base. Five is being uh, a shit and has decided rather than helping out in the combat is just going to uh, swear at our people. Is that not a spare weapon? Um, oh, right. Sorry, I meant to give Doves the uh, grenade launcher. My bad. And I meant to give Bear the battle axe. So I've kind of done it all backwards there. Let's send you in to go and help out. Fingers is already in combat. There we are. Come on. What do you what do you want to aim at? Can you not hit the Oh, I think he needs to move forward one more block and then he can hit the Yeah, hit the mortar. Hit the mortar. Come on. They are shooting at friendlies that we've got walking past. Great shot. Fantastic. Well done, fingers. I should have given fingers Sharamus' goggles as well, because it reduces aiming time by like 25%. Boom. That's what I want to see. Oh, you two idiots. Roger Wilco's had enough of five shit and has decided to. I mean, not really too much, given that five's immortal, but hey. Right, do you want to go for the other mortar too? Because I don't believe we can, like, finish the construction on that one. I'd rather just get rid of it, so that we're not in any danger at all. God, I hope those guys don't do any significant damage to one another, especially as we are about to get any second now. Maybe on this shot, the assault begins. Yes. Okay, get out of there. Well, you'd assume it would anyway. I mean, that's fine. It's giving fingers plenty of time to get out of there, huh? I don't know why they're... <laughs> I don't know why they're still building walls when they're about to leave at any second, but there we go. Thank you, Rimworld. Right, get your axe equipped. And let's get you on the front line. So Bear is unfortunately not going to be much use here, so we'll bring him down there. We just need more weapons. You two need to chill out. Uh, six conditions need to Bleeding out in seven hours. What did you do to her? Crushed her lungs. I mean, fair enough. You shouldn't have You shouldn't have shouted at an orc. She is immortal, so I feel like field medicine is probably just appropriate here. Um, prioritize tending now. Let's go for doctor care. Don't worry about anything else. There we are. Okay. They are now assaulting the colony. Fingers is going to get through. We're going to tell that door to close. And then... Sorry, friends. We're going to have to go around the main entrance. <laughs> Goodbye. Right, let's bring you up here. We need to expand our kind of funnel a little bit more. Because this is not sufficient for the amount of people we've got anymore, unfortunately. Right, let's see what they do. Get into a fist fight with the people attacking. 
Or they're getting into a slight firefight. They're not doing a great job about it, though. They've lost one person. They've been winged quite a lot. Our allies are down. Okay, but they did do a good amount of damage, so can't hold that against them too much. You are just wandering around. Nikki Franklin just wandering around with a gun. I don't know who you are. Okay, you're good to go. Back on the front line. Robo Daddy, back on the front line. God, we are cramming them in tight here. This is Sardine's territory. I don't like this. One triple rocket launcher, we'd be done. So we need to do something with these defenses before or after this raid is over. Okay, more prisoners, please. i got so many names. That's it. Take him down. Guy in the ghillie suit we can't target for reasons I don't quite understand. He can't just walk in the base, can he? We can still... Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's solved that problem, I guess. Was that a grenade launcher? Huh. I didn't realize the grenade launchers had quite that range. Oh, they do. Wow. Okay. That's a bit of a game changer, huh? And we definitely need to build better, a, a better entrance to the base. We're obviously not going to go for a killbox or anything, so they're a little bit too easy. Um, but, a, but a better funnel. Bear in mind, we are just ripping apart this limestone right now. Okay, let's see who we can capture then. Well, obviously, everybody's who we're going to capture. Um, Rubber Daddy on that one. Let's get uh, Beta, 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 Beta. Who's Beta renamed to? Ice Wolf, because Ice Wolf survived the first winter. Got Moira and then Bear as well. Okay, I'm not expecting to capture all of them, but any of them is obviously fine. Timothy Ann Holden died the second they hit the table. It's a bit of a shame. Uh, Robin Eddie, you're tending, and Ice Wolf is also tending. Yeah, can't do much more than that. Oh, God, they're all dying. The doctors were immediately on it. What are you talking about? I feel like we should probably keep some herbal medicine in the prison, then. What do you think? Man, that's tragic. They died so fucking fast. Okay, get them out of there. We lost three, but we kept two. That's all I can... That's all I can really expect. I suppose we actually did get some guns here. So you go get the hunting rifle. Would I prefer like a hand cannon or a, or a grenade launcher? I feel like we probably shouldn't just leave that in the prison though there, fella. That seems like a bit of a recipe for disaster. It's going to get all that shit hauled. Um, I'm thinking just like a single point of medicine wouldn't hurt. Something like that. Uh, we've got some sort of storage. Like, yeah, single shelf. That's better. Um, let's get rid of that then and put down a single shelving unit like right there. No wood. Of course not. We don't get any wood in this game. Not, not with the seasons. Oh, what? A group of cobra abandoned or lost? What are you calling that a battle animal? Cobra. Oh, wow. That's a lot of cobra. W welcome? I think those are just going to be slaughtered straight away. I hate to say it. <laughs> They're a bit pointless, aren't they? We've got someone set to handle. Bear. Bear is going to go and strangle these cobra. Oh, shit. Oh, of all the crops to blight. That's awful. Um, wow. It blighted like half of them, too. Jesus. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and get that done as soon as possible because we can't afford to lose an entire crop there. There we go. Much better. Best slipping out in the field. Have we really not got enough bedrooms? We've only got, what, seven? Wow. You really just don't want to give us two seconds, do you? This is this is quite a treat. The next day, they've, they've had a night's sleep and we are back to back to more raids. A mech hive then. What are we looking at? The last mech hive was relatively easy. Uh... <laughs> really? A, a scyther? Okay, that was... Very generous of you. Thank you. Um, Ice Wolf, be careful. There's a single Scyther. To be fair, that is something of, of a concern, I guess. Particularly as Ice Wolf is apparently a bit garbage with the gun. Come on. All us. Oh, no. Uh, friends? Who's the closest ally? Uh, Charamus Pork, get down here. Hang on. There's another one. Oh, there's two Scyther. Okay, my bad. Right, draft up. Let's, go, let's, try, and, let's try and go like over here. See what we can do. Yeah, shoot the one that's not immediately hacking into bits. That's a sensible plan. You fool. Okay. Okay, people. Let's, let's line up. Roger Wilco. I appreciate that the meat cleaver is very terrifying. Probably not super effective against Scyther, though. There we are. There we are. There we are. Come on. Take him down. Take him down. Uh, let's go for those ones first. Come on. Now, God damn, these things are resilient, aren't they? For anyone we're playing with Yeo's combat, we're playing with a lot of combat mods this time. It's not quite combat extended, but it does have a lot of extra difficulty with regards to things like armor penetration. So, Ice Wolf, you've been sliced to pieces. Uh, you've lost a leg and an eye now. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Um, we might want to... Oh, seriously? Incompetent cook? What? 11 out of 20? The room's spotless. You can't say that that's, a... that's an incompetent cook. I mean... I don't think he's an incompetent cook, but it's definitely not because of any other reason besides the cook. Maybe it's just an extremely rare chance to happen and we just hit that. Okay. He's getting medical treatment. We've got actual medicine on him too. That's a rare luxury in this base. There you are. Not just some crappy weed that we've grown in the garden. The research lab's coming along pretty well. We obviously need a bunch more, bunch more rocks for that, but that's not too terrible. You were immortal. 
You were immortal. What a play. They were immortal. We buried them. They came back to life. They stole our gold. <laughs> Look at how pissed off Fingers is about them taking our gold. Fingers loves his gold. That's a well-known fact. Hacker to bits. Fingers. Slay. Fingers. She's taking your gold. Bad. We've got ourselves an immortal. Give it to Fingers. He deserves that for actually catching her in the act. Goodbye. Boom. An upgrade for Fingers. Excellent. Watch that. Watch those lightning bolts. Oh, shit. Okay, I think we're fine. He's striking nothing that's too important by the looks of it. There we are. Excellent work. An upgrade for Fingers. And that was 288 gold, too. That was pretty significant. I don't believe you for a second. Incompetent cook. You're madness. That's madness. You're talking out your ass. More of them. I was thinking for a future series. And let me know what you think about this idea. Because I think it would be awesome. Having the meteor showers. And having the regular meteor storms. But like all the time. I think that would be insane. Especially if we limit it to a map like this. Where the only buildings we could build then. Would have to be under mountains. And the map would just fill up with, with meteorites as time goes by. I think that could be a really really fun. Kind of maybe smaller series. Like a, like a brief little challenge project. Just going outside and immediately getting crushed by a meteor. That's that's Rimworld right there. Oh, what happened? What the hell happened there? High teal, uh, high tech steel research benches short circuit in the rain and started a fire. Good, good. <laughs> Thank you, Sharamus, for building a lab and not bothering to roof over it. Is he okay? He took the full brunt of a uh... man. Ice Wolf cannot catch a break today. That was an explosion right to the face from a short circuit. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, that's what we like to see. Fantastic. What I'm... No. You can't do that. We've only got 15 days before a freaking sandstorm whips up. <laughs> oh, okay. No, that's that's acceptable. Thank you. I appreciate that one. Can we make it a rule that there's no cold snaps, volcanic winters, toxic fallout, nuclear... Whatever. In between... The seasons, because this is madness. You'd be fucked if you got like a cold snap for the best part of the season, because then if it if it happened in it, just after, so to so say, you plant your crops at late spring, you get your cold snap. Last all through summer, you've lost all growing potentially. You've lost your entire crop to the cold snap, and then you wouldn't be able to grow as well. That would be fun. I like that. Oh shit! Oh, Roger Walker became an optimist. Oh, that's cool. To shame after all the food poisoning, he's about the only bloody optimist in the base. Free from slavery. I never realized that she gained a. I didn't realize that gave a 15 mood bonus. Wow. So we've got a lot of them that are going to be quite happy for a little while then. That's all right, because I have been honestly working them basically to death. Dove passed out of the gas extractor. Right, so let's get that over. What are you hunting there? What the hell is that, a moose? It's an elk. Is that not a... That's a, that's a very small elk. Atlantis has gotten the luxury prison treatment. I figured it was worth recruiting this person first, seeing as they've got pretty good plants, double passion in that, good cooking, good shooting. They're all round okay. Chemical interest, psychically deaf, nudist, straight, very neutral traits as well. Let's get you on recruit. Then, because we've got a second warden, I don't mind trying to break resistance on another one as well. Um, the only issue is I'm a little bit... I don't really know who to pick because they're all a bit garbage. Uh, I mean, I'm looking at shooting stats and, I mean, crafting 11. Sanguine is pretty good. Cranial nerve palsy is down 20% on work speed. I guess we'll start reducing resistance on you. That's nothing a couple of bionics wouldn't fix. Oh, shit. The new lab's done. We need a bit more steel, though. Um, I assume the manager is automatically designating steel to be... Yes, it is. Okay, fantastic. Um, we've got all of this out here as well. I'm just, just kind of leave that there, you know? Why don't we work on the barricade? Why don't we work on the barricade, try and spread that out a little bit more? Because right now it's a little bit of... <laughs> I mean, a hazard, to be honest. Let's do something like that and just try and... Just try and pad things out a little bit. Give people a little more room. Because, again, all it would take is one triple rocket launcher and we're pretty pretty screwed at that point. All right, let's do something like that. That's okay. Obviously, up here is going to be a bit limited. We also need to make sure there are no blocks that they can hide behind. So, like, there and there need to go. Put sandbags behind those as well. We'll stop them being able to permanently kind of stand there. Might shave the side off this mountain. Something like that, just to make it a bit more of a funnel. But given that we've only got 15 days left before the sandstorm comes in, the question is, what do we want to do with regards to preparation? I mean, all we've already got to do is make sure we've got plenty of meals, because they can't go outside very often. We could. We could focus on turning this into one large structure. Putting roofs over the whole thing will prevent tornadoes spawning in. We could quite simply put double doors kind of on some of these parts to lead outdoors and then forbid them. Let them kind of run around the base a little bit. Um... 
I, I think a Skylight mod for this particular mod pack would go really well. I've always found the Skylight mod to be very, very OP. By design, it obviously allows you to basically beat seasons, growing times, everything. I don't particularly like it because of that. I like the mod, don't get me wrong, but I, I think in terms of how overpowered it is, it can be quite strong. In this situation, though, we, we could just link everything up. So we have a little corridor going into there, a little corridor coming back down into the research room, into here. We can turn it into one big mega structure. That way, eventually, if we wanted to, we could try and insulate the whole thing. Building it from the top, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Let's get this lab finished, because right now they're working in the dark, and he never quite has enough time to get it done there. There we go. God, what a what weird pathfinding that is. Wow. Okay, fantastic. And then we got a couple more tiles to do, and then I'll get that cleaned as well. A doormat just outside the entrance would be fantastic, at least until we've done something with this other room here. Um, like I said, I wanted to turn that into a hospital, so sterile tiles would be ideal for that one. So no point putting out steel tiles if we're just going to tear it all up. We'll lose so many resources. Let's go for uh, a regular doormat. Let's put that there. We could put it on the outside, to be fair. How, many, how much cloth do we have? Should have got shitloads, right? Yeah, we've got absolutely boatloads. Um, let's go... Let's go like that. Just, just really ensure that they're not going to be dragging dirt. And I'm well aware for the time being it's going to be... That they're going to be pulling it in through that. We could do something like that. Because they've really got no reason to go to that top area of the room right now. Take them all about two seconds to get that finished, I think. There we are. Much better. Okay, so that guarantees that the research lab is going to be nice and clean too. Another couple of lights in there definitely wouldn't go amiss. I'm, I'm happy with that. I think that's going to be pretty good. And then, of course, we've got some room there for... Oh, no. We've got some room there for multi-analyzers. The advanced multi-analyzers. What have we got here? Loss of trait, poor medic. Oh, that's fine. Was you, you were also one of our medics. So that's not a problem at all. I didn't even realize you picked up poor medic. Just iron world and beautiful now. Damn. Got 248 limestone bricks. So I think that is... I don't know. Steel or limestone? Which is stronger? Limestone walls are stronger. It would be ideal to get the very external... I think we put a big external wall around the whole thing and then make it all one big indoor zone. Um, so we've got two blocks. The wall would go there at that point. Just give it the mountain a bit of extra. That way it's bouncing off the mountain rather than the wall there. Okay, we can roof over this whole area. In fact, we don't even need to roof over that because this this is all... This could act as another walkway, especially if we remove these two blocks here. Okay, so this is all going to be indoors. Um... Then we could just forbid those, I guess. So this this area is all very nicely self-contained. We need uh, uh, kind of something to do here. Um, I think we go like this. Maybe we block maybe we block it over like that. Alternatively, we could just block it like that, I guess. Um, treat that as more indoors. We could put a door kind of like there. So it's not too terrible. Then all of this will count as indoors, which is fine. Um, I might I might want to not include the gas extractors because I don't know if that'll have some strange effect. Maybe it produces heat or something like that. Um, but if it's indoors, they will get a better work speed, I guess. It's an extractor. It won't make any difference. Whatever. We'll see how that goes. Put down uh, floors as well. That's what I'm thinking. Put limestone. Um, we could concrete over the whole thing separately. If we've got enough blocks, we could do limestone walkways or something like that. Okay, that's fine. And then they could pass through here to actually get to, uh, to actually get into the research lab. So what I want is another couple of walls down, maybe like that. Uh, and then we go for an external one there, and then reinstall that over to there. Fine. So that actually lets them get into there. Um, this zone we could all just brick over. So we could do something like that there, and then extend a couple of walls out. It's going to look hideous, but bear with me. It's 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 the best way to fight off tornadoes. It means they can get to everywhere without any risk at that stage. There's a spacecraft again. Very good. Okay, so that will help fund a lot of these changes we're making to the base. Man, that went down fast. Christ, I blinked and Sharmus has got half of it built. Fantastic. What the hell is going on down here? <laughs> what is he doing? He's just decided he's going to go and kill a bison with an axe. What is wrong with you, you weird man? Is he actually going to... This is incredible. We're just going to sit and watch because he's doing a great job. The bison... Oh, no. Okay. Well, honestly, you kind of deserve that one, Chief. I don't know what the fuck you expect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hit this bison with an axe and see what happens. You guys need to get up here fucking fast. Like, really fast, because this is not... <laughs> this is not good. Oh, Timothy. Oh, God, Timothy, I'm so sorry that you have to deal with this orc. Timothy's fist fighting the bison. Timothy is dead. He was instantly killed by the bison. Oh, he's not that dead. We don't have to take him... What if we behead him now? Because he is... Not from an enemy faction, I believe. The orange... Oh, he is from an enemy faction. He must be someone that we killed and then resurrected and then walked it off. Let's behead him in a second. Those bison just did us a massive favor. Fingers, I need you to sneak out behind the bison so that we can go and kill 
so that we can go and behead Terry, Tommy, Tilly, whatever his name was. Okay, here we are. Uh, let's go orders and behead that man. Yes, go. No, no, behead. Boom. Still regular immortal, but I, I don't know what tier he's at either. You can enable it so it will show you what tier of immortal they are. Good God. <laughs> Look at the blood. You can see the path of the bison. He did a number on them though. I mean, credit to Pork. He got his ass handed to him, but he's he's not, you know, he's not been injured. No life-threatening injuries there. Just a couple of cracks and bruises. Unbelievable. Bioengineering supplier. Those sound like all words I very much enjoy. Rubber Daddy? See what they've got. I'm sorry, a what? A vat-grown royal maggot. A vat-grown milk beetle. <laughs> That's very offensive. I have a name. What is it? What is a vat-grown milk beetle? Milk beetles produce a thick insectoid milk in a large sack on its back. Oh, God. As moderately armored, the chitin plates can be safely removed so they quickly grow back. A vat-grown creature is unable to reproduce its lifespan is decreased. That's absolutely disgusting. Titan beetle? What is that? Um, needs to be trained on to guard to help with mining. Things mined by the beetle will always appear forbidden due to game constraints. Okay, so we've got uh, very similar to the, the ground runners from alpha animals, I believe they are. We've got a royal maggot there. Um... Insectoid ooze wherever it goes, but regularly produces lumps of royal jelly. Is that not addictive, though? We've got a spider weaver. Um, can't decide makes it. Uh, produces spider silk. Okay. We could buy some more genetic materials and just... So, so, so somebody said, uh, with regards to the genetic materials, it's better to use them because they can end up with a lot of negative effects. It's better to use them on prisoners and then harvest from the prisoners what you want. I want to buy as much as possible from these guys to continue with the Sharamus insectoid project. Uh, can we go like... Hmm. Shit, that's a shame. Okay, and we've also got a bioengineering incubator. Let's buy two drone materials and just go ahead and inset, inject those into whoever, really. Someone just resurrected. What was that? No, it wasn't. It was an animal. One of the bison we butchered were also immortal. Fingers is... I mean, he's gonna he's gonna become such a high-tier immortal at this rate. That's three quickenings today alone. The tornado defense is actually going really, really well. Um, got to get some more. I've, I put some lights on the, the kind of external walls. This is becoming very much kind of like a, like a real dystopia city, isn't it? We've got like these really cramped alleyways. We've got skips filled with crap. We've got like a lot of really tight, darkly lit corridors and alleyways between our, our really shitty kind of almost Soviet era buildings. This is nice. I like it. The children can go and stand in the dark alleyway and play horseshoes. That's great. Meanwhile, the prisoners scream as they get insect parts injected into them. Speaking of which, Calderon, I'm sorry, my friend. You've been randomly selected. Install warrior genome. We, we bought two of them, right? Get on it. Robo Daddy, if you if you please. Need material. What the fuck are you talking about? What's that? Drone material. Ah, my, my mistake. Okay. Uh, drone, drone genome. Two of those, yep. And then Robo Daddy, to work. Robo Daddy knows robots. He does not know insects, and he certainly doesn't understand biology. Compound eye. That sounds okay. Compound eye sounds sound fine. And then we've got jelly sack. Oh, that does not sound so good. Compound eye. Maximum hit points. Dodge chance, but 50% efficiency. Ah, okay. We've got jelly sack. Gives pain plus 4%, but allows humans to produce low quantities of insect jelly over time. It's an extremely painful mutation. Requires medical enhancement for the person to actually live with it. Oh. Oh, I like that. Okay. So we can now keep that prisoner as kind of livestock. And we can have some tasty human jelly. There's another one. Another bioengineering supplier. Okay, let's see if we can actually sell these guys anything. Because we don't have ghost face killer shipping again. Very nice. Uh, no, nothing. Oh, we got a cuter pillow though. Hello. Entirely of royal insect jelly. It's soft and beautiful appearance enough for humans to want to spend every minute around it. And eat it. No, okay, we don't want those. Thank you. Wow, this is a cool this is a cool mod. Um, we, we never really have much opportunity to really look at it, but the next series that I've got in mind is going to be very similar to the Robo Daddy series. I don't want to spoil it too much. Um, but I have a plan, and, and I was kind of thinking about it yesterday before I went to sleep, and I've got a really good idea to tie it into a previous series. And what I want to do as well is, is bring this wall down, line it up with the bottom wall here, and then bring the whole thing over, but also drop it down a block too, so this remains a, a two-block corridor just so we don't get congestion. Um, then we can bring the whole thing down. We can also expand the kitchen out there by a block too without encroaching on any rich soil. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. It would basically mean that we would have to have to change all of this. Oh, soundless resistance has been broken. There we are. So they're in the, obviously the luxury prison there. Low mood, really. Even though your prison is quite nice. Impressive prison style, such in the cold. Oh, it is quite cold, isn't it? My bad. Um, winter is a thing. Oh shit, it's quite cold everywhere. But now that everything's indoors, 
we could only put down a couple of heaters in. I mean, if we were to get an insulated outer wall as well, or maybe even just insulated these, we'd be fine. That's that's kind of the end goal of the campaign, is to get everything nicely, you know, the high tier insulation that we make out of chem fuel or whatever. That would be pretty fantastic. Even though it says we can reinstall wind turbines, I believe if we do it, what actually happens is it counts it as still covering the same wind area from where you uninstalled it, because obviously wind turbines aren't intended to be uninstalled or reinstalled. Let's give it a go. If not, Somebody pointed out in the comment section yesterday, we can actually build industrial generators to maybe make more use of this Alexian pump. We're not doing anything with it because it is just sat there. It's a natural resource that we're not doing anything with besides the occasional drilling. So it's kind of a waste, especially as we commit a lot of resources to that. See, that also says not connected to tower and blocked by acacia tree, despite the fact that it is... <laughs> it's been miniaturized. Okay, we'll take it apart and just build another one, I guess. So we'll just go for some regular old heaters for the time being. I'm not sure how to do it. We, we could try and heat up this whole thing. Um, but it obviously would be a lot more effective to put a heater per room. It's going to be much more expensive. Though. How many components have we got? 54? 54? <laughs> I don't quite know how we've ended up with 50. I did, we did buy a shitload, though, didn't we, from that trader? Um, and the trade ship is 10. Some point out, the reason why it's 10, and I've, I've not, you know, I've not taken into that, that into account previously. Normally, we play on Merciless. So, normally, when you take apart a ship, it's what, like, two to four components? Something like that? And now we're getting 10 per ship, just because I'm not used to it, quite frankly. Um, we'll put one in the prisoner bay as well. We'll put one in here, I guess. Um, and then one in the research lab. Uh, and one in this room. That's still going to be quite a fair amount of components. What's that? 15 components and a shitload of steel. Wow. That's going to be, like, a lot. Oh, no. It's into the area. It's a uh, queen. Got a lot of mega spiders there. Oh, that's fine. That's not what I'm concerned about. Okay, that's all right. As long as it's not another one of those events where we had the the queens popping out everywhere. That was lethal. Oh, we got defensive positions. We do. We do. Okay, so I can, after this, set up some much better positions for our people. Um, please get your gun out. I'm not sure we're going to be able to stop them before they get to the base. Uh, change of plan. Let's back off a little bit. No friendly fire. God, the friendly fire drop mod drives me mad. Uh, who's got friendly fire enabled? Let's turn that off for everybody. It's so rare that I actually want them. Oh, we've got a trade caravan. Oh, hang on. Uh, right, right, right. Okay, better idea, better idea. Pull back. Pull back. Line up. Let the trade caravan deal with it. To be fair, running gun might actually take out a lot of these boys, so we might be all right here. Got two down. Trade caravan. Uh, trade caravan, I need your strongest gunners. I'm going into battle. Please help me. Oh, here they come. Okay, we're fine. Oh, Ice Wolf just got shot. Please stop shooting, Ice Wolf, for fuck's sake. Oh, he's going to die in two hours. Okay, 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 okay. Don't, don't, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Don't panic. Oh, God, now panic. Give me one fucking good reason. You give me one good reason. <sighs> Goodbye, Ice Wolf. Known to his friends and family as Beta for most of the series. Renamed because I thought he was a survivor and deserved a name to represent that. Only to be betrayed. Only to be betrayed by our so-called allies. Who are they? The Pact of Funbatai. Fun fun Remember them. Because I'm going to wipe them out. Remember their names. Order 66. How many of them are there? Nine of them. They've got stronger weapons than us. <laughs> oh, you fucking people. Oh, you people. If, if you weren't here with much more powerful weapons, I would destroy you. Well, they got for sale. Maybe we could trade their their guns for corn and then we could kill them and take back the corn. Hang on. Uh, Robo Daddy. Trade with Smelly. Yeah, you're goddamn right there, Smelly. Show me what you've got. Uh, right, we can sell them some crap. I'm going to do everything in my power to wipe these guys off of the, the face of the earth. Seriously? I thought that might be the case. <laughs> Ally downed. Oh. Oh, really? Who was it who killed Ice Wolf? Give me their name. But hurt horribly. By Sir Dorena. I... 
What can I do? What can I do about you? What can I do about you in particular? Is there some way we can commit a war crime and get away with it? No. No, I can't. We're not a UN country. Okay. Draft up. Undraft. Let's get these prisoners captured. Unbelievable. Right. Get him. Get him out of here. Let's see if, if any of them actually survived that blasting. These trade caravans have done so much damage. Oh. Oh, smelly. Leader of the trade caravan. Oh, shit. Clinical death. No pulse. Clinical death. What are you telling me about that? If they've got no pulse, they're, they're, they are dead. Um, I guess we'll just leave them to, to actually die properly. I don't exactly quite know what the game <laughs> expects me to do about that. No pulse. Clinical death. Right. So th they're just dead. Okay. Whatever. I suppose it's maybe a last ditch attempt. There you go. I guess it was kind of a last ditch attempt to allow the player to save them if they had, I don't know, a replacement heart or something like that. Wow, we lost half our prisoners in that one and one of our colonists because of our allies, inverted commas, and they destroyed our manager desk. Wow. I mean, this is is this is this a tragic day because that was one of our was one of our key players. They deserve an actual proper funeral not just a hole in the ground but a sarcophagus made of gold okay maybe not made of silver we can how much silver have we got 595 okay uh made of steel <laughs> yeah sarcophagus made of the finest steel like the kings of oh, i guess just about everywhere it's only steel um we're gonna put there we need like a tomb put it in there you get your own dedicated tomb my friend that insect's immortal Immortal insects, too. Thank you. Okay, fingers. I got something for you, my friend. More tasty, tasty immortal meat. What? Wait, we can't even do anything about it. Oh, you son of a bitch. Bear shot it in the brain. Oh, that's a shame. Um, this was better than having just these guys running around. We should probably behead everything preemptively, huh? Just go ahead and designate that. And let fingers just go around beheading them all. There you go. Just gotta have a hobby. I am fingers. In my spare time, I like to <laughs> behead... <laughs> right, let's get... Oh, shit, my beheaded ice wolf. It's what we do here. It's our death ritual. You wouldn't understand. It's 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 a show of of respect uh, to say that, you know, we don't want them coming back to life. They've moved on to the spirit realm. And more importantly, we don't want somebody stealing their power. So we behead them. The family beheads them. That way, it's a nice neutral occurrence. Surrounded by friends rather than an enemy, say, digging up a grave to try and get their power. That's, that's reasonable. Fingers, please... Bury your husband. Prioritize burying. Dead. Plus 21 opinion. Useless leader minus 30. <laughs> My husband, Ice Wolf, died. My husband is dead. I am alone. Goodbye, Ice Wolf. You're all alone. Tragic. New recruit, Salinas, or as she is known to us, Lord Winter. You probably think that's very confusing. Surely it should be Lady Winter. No, this is this is very mod. It's an equal opportunities. She is Lord Windsor now. Uh, I don't know why. She's certainly not qualified. <laughs> Unless she gets elected, at which point everything's fine. Not that lords are elected. Okay, it doesn't really work at all, I'll be honest with you. Let's make sure that she's got the right schedule assignment, everything else. But it's nice that we've got a replacement immediately to make up for the fact that uh, one of our people was horribly murdered. Murdered in cold blood and there was absolutely nothing I could do about it. Right, so, Lord Windsor, why are you injured? Oh, were you part of the prison break? Oh, I didn't realize that could actually happen when she was in a completely separate building, but there we are. Okay, let's get you a job. This is going to be harder than I thought, given that she's got absolutely no discernible skills. Kind of very average at a lot of things across the board. She's got a lot of passion in a lot of things as well. Okay, not bad at crafting either. Again, just like kind of very good across the board, but nothing in particular stands out. So we'll just have you as kind of the generic designation here for our people. I suppose it'd give you like a slightly higher mining priority to make up for it. We've got these corpses buried too. <laughs> kind of propping the door open with a corpse now, are we? Smelly the bureaucrat. Chuck him in a mass grave. That's where we bury animals. Get out of here. Go ahead and leave it there. Thank you for watching. This has been, uh, it's been a heavy loss. Tomorrow, though, bear in mind it's the 8th of September now, we will be entering the Age of Sandstorm. So any final things we've got to do need to be done there and then. And then everybody can shout at me about how I've forgotten to do something very obvious. Or we'll just die again horribly to the sandstorms, because that ended up being way harder than I expected last time. Thank you, in the meantime, of course, to our executive producers now on both Coffee and Patreon. 
thank you to Goatfather, Slippy Nips, Dante Mordekain, Under the Couch, Angelo, Slickback, Siala, Huey Longdong, Sweetsea, Buen Gun, My Name Isn't Dio, Distorted Triangle, Kamara Schmel, Crane Fixer, Oregon, and everyone else over on the many platforms that we're on right now. Thank you guys all for watching for the final month of the Patreon list. Thank you for, thank you for being part of things. And thank you as well goes out to Squirty, Dion, Lost World, Keith, Jackson P, Talar, K-Shot, Udrick Haddon, Zerato, Moondoggy, Valo, Silent Sentinel, Anchor, Lampy, Peanut Gorilla, Jeebus Crust, and everyone else over on Coffee and Patreon. Again, a big thank you especially goes out to everybody who's followed us over to the new platform. Again, I would encourage maybe like waiting the month through so you're not double charged for this month if you do decide to flip over platforms. But for those of you who've done it early, big thank you goes out to you guys. Unlike Patreon as well, it's something I actually forgot to mention in the benefits, so I, maybe I'll have to update that. Um, but of course, you can cancel at any time. Whereas Patreon, if you signed up at the end of the month, they would charge you again at the first month, which was a bit fucked up, to be honest. Um, whereas now, it's just every month rolling, which is quite nice instead. So... Again, thank you guys for your support. See you over there. And see you all tomorrow?